Why does walking after a meal help lower blood sugar? We've talked about how blood sugar rises after eating carbs, but how do we get it out of the bloodstream? We'll focus on muscles today, which make up about 40% of our body weight, and they are key players in managing blood sugar. So when glucose enters the bloodstream, it needs to be transported into our muscles. And this happens with glucose transporters. And I like to think of them as slides. Whee! But here's the catch. These slides just don't sit on the surface of our muscles. They're tucked away inside and they need to be called up to the surface. And there are two major pathways. First, insulin. When insulin binds to our muscles, it recruits those slides to the surface so glucose can slide right in. Second, muscle contractions. When our muscles contract, like during a walk or a body squat, it triggers a similar response, moving the slides to the surface. So, walking after a meal, it's all about the muscle contractions. Since walking activates a lot of muscles, it brings those glucose transporters or slides to the surface of our muscles and helps pull Whee! the glucose out of the bloodstream into our muscles where it can be used as fuel. Now here's what's fascinating. Movement throughout the day versus one big workout and then sitting for the rest is much more effective for blood sugar control. Why? because those regular bursts of movement keep calling those glucose transporters to the surface of our muscle cells. This means our muscles are constantly ready to soak up glucose, helping stabilize both blood sugar and insulin levels throughout the day. 